I'm Carlin here. I just wanted to take a quick second to welcome the competitors who have just joined us here in the world of Chell and hope they jump into a game soon because I can't wait to see them out on the ice.
The skates are sharpened, the sticks are taped, the ice is ready to go. James and Ray ready to bring it all. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Nighthawks start with possession as we are now underway. And that's broken up. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Yeah, there he is, it's front. Came up with a nice save. Ferraro's gonna cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. George's quick pick zone ability means he can intercept passes and break up his opponent's attack. Gord's heat seeker zone ability is his accuracy with long range wristers. He can be so effective at getting pucks on net, even at a distance. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. The Nighthawks gain possession in their own end. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Looks to get the puck over to Truba. Good stand-up hit. Delayed penalty coming up here. Truba's got a great ability to hang in the play. Like that last one, James, he looked like after he stumbled, he was out of the play. But he gets himself back in position to get a pretty good chance on goal. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The icebreakers have been handed two for interference. The Nighthawks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. I, for one, am a big fan of when the power play gets on the ice. I used to make my living doing this stuff. And it's because you've got time, make sure you find a way to score. And now he tries to get it across to White. The Nighthawks have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by White. Oh, great save there! Save is good. Better yet that that rebound doesn't stay in front of the net. It's over to safety in the corner. Poked away in the neutral zone by Rippin. The Nighthawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Can't make a connection on the pass. Pushes it across to Truba. Now he takes it over the line. The Nighthawks squander a golden opportunity to take the lead here. Too passive, not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers, really doesn't become a dangerous power play. Oh, and that stays out with the toe save. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Takes the feed from the left side. Moves the puck along the half wall. Steps in front of that one. Slides it on over to Truba. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Tries that last move. Maybe he should just shoot the puck or get deep. Got a chase now. And he takes the pass. Across the line. Can't make it work. The Nighthawks gain possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up speed. The Icebreakers take possession here in the open ice. Stop with ease. The Icebreakers scoop it up along the boards. The Nighthawks look to start the transition game. Quick feed to Gord. They've got numbers here. It's a three on one. Stones them with the blocker. Takes the puck at the point. Sends it down low. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. We got a whistle penalty coming up. This is always a fine line penalty. You're allowed a little interference, just not that much. The Nighthawks once again send out their power play unit. I like this. They got together right before the faceoff and discussed a couple of options. They haven't had a lot of opportunities tonight. There's a great save on an excellent chance there. 
The best part about the way he shoots these long-range shots is he doesn't wind up. He's known for this, getting it on the net, forcing the goalie into a save. Rippins ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Icebreakers win the draw. Keeps hold of the puck. George has got it in the defensive end. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Shots on the wall. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. The Icebreakers have it now. Moves it quickly over to Truba. Moves it to the middle. A blast! And that goes off, pours off a body. Dupuis is out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time, you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. The Nighthawks take possession of the neutral zone. Levels him with the hit. The Icebreakers get a hold of the puck. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Late goings of this period. Still no score in this one. The Nighthawks win it in the defensive zone. Quickly to Truba. And that pass doesn't go. And oh, thunderous hit. He thought he had all kinds of room. There was none. He thought he could get by him, but he got squeezed off. That was a big hit. And here's the pass to Truba. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was great. Scores! And from out of nowhere here in the dying seconds, they get one before the period ends. Teams start to look at that clock winding down and you just want to get to the end of the period. This is like a lightning bolt into the middle of this game. The Icebreakers score the game's opening goal here late in the first. How big is that? Well, you can see just the energy on their bench. They want to go and push this into the intermission with the lead. 20 minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. Just that opening 20 minutes, how do you assess things? The Nighthawks will look at that like a pretty solid first period, James. However, they trail by one, there's lots of time left. But I liked a lot of what they did in that opening frame. Scooped up along the wall by Rippin. He got rocked again! He's got to get his head up here, or they're going to be carting him off the ice. The Icebreakers move the puck in the defensive zone. And it's turned aside by Amala. Tries to feed it over to Duke. And he slides it quickly to George. Referee singles penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Whistle blows, stopping the play. You can actually gain a little momentum here if the penalty killers do the job. Down a goal, if they kill this, you're going to have some jump. True Buff's team has the advantage here with the power play, and it's an opportunity for him to use his zone ability and maybe even help the team like the lamp. Moves the puck down low. Big On the backhand! Big stop by the goaltender right in front. 
Riffin's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, rocks him against the board. That's a great hit. I love the way that he took the ice away and slammed him into the wall. And that's deflected off someone in front. Ferraro's gonna pounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's gonna take it. Duke's been looking for the door here to get off the ice after he was injured in the middle of this shift. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The icebreakers have it behind the net. Whoa! It's a power play goal! Now, you know, James, I made a living on the power play. You got to keep listening to my stories all the time. But once you get on a power play that's rolling, you feel like there's a couple of different options. This team is good with the man advantage. Thankfully, your stories are good, too. Yeah, I don't know. Picked up along the wall by Dupuis. As a textbook body contact there. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Puck picked up by Rippin. Here's a stretch pass to Truba. Can't get a hold of that pass. Quick pass to White. Grabs the puck. The icebreakers grab possession to the puck. One on one with the goaltender. Denies him with a big time save. He thought he had him beat, but the goalie gets over to make a great stop. Here's a shot. Great block on the play. Unloads the shot. And Mama's got the puck. And he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Icebreakers now lead by two. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Here's a rip! Big time stop there. Oh, that just sounded painful. Truman's got something bother him here. He doesn't really look like he's 100% as he tries to finish his shift. From the open ice, they gain the line. Oh, you'll win respect for your teammates. Oh, it's in the back of the net. Well, I guess we know what's on the clips tomorrow in the video room, James. The defenseman standing directly behind the net when the puck's out front before it gets shot into the net. Rippins won the draw inside the neutral zone. Couldn't make the connection on the play. George is lugging the puck. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And we'll reset things after that icing. Past the midway mark in this period. The Nighthawks still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Grabbed along the board by George. The Nighthawks have it in the offensive end. And he lowers the boom there. And he slides it quickly to Truba. Here's a pass in front. And that's intercepted. Moves it to Duke. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. You worked so hard to get back in the game. Now you have a stall. A penalty will really hamper your momentum. Teams use this 1-3-1 one, one a lot. They like the creativity that you can shoot the puck from either side. You can use the bumper spot, and you always have traffic in front of the net. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Ferraro's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Nice job tying up his opponent. Passes the puck over to Rippin. Poked away at center by George. Take it along the wall by Truba. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Now a quick pass to Truba. The Nighthawks get a hold of the puck under man. Rippin's got him deep in the offensive end. And he takes the dish. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. The Nighthawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. 
Both teams back to even strength. Really nice effort by the penalty killing unit on that one. Here's a chance, sends it in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. The Nighthawks take it along the wall. The Icebreakers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. He's got a step, and that's broken up. He uses his skating in his stick to sweep the puck away to prevent the scoring chance. Denied that one. He really gets a lot of torque on that snapshot. Leans into this shot and forces the goalie to be sharp as he's moving while he shoots it. The Icebreakers have it against the wall. And he takes the feed. A chance in front! There's the horn. Two periods down. A third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? The Nighthawks are going to have to get a little more aggressive here in this third period. I mean, you might have to take a risk. Be a little chancy. And they score! Almost the trademark move for him. He gets a little bit in front of the defender, lowers the shoulder, and then drives straight to the far post. Nobody stops him. They find the puck that's in the net. The Nighthawks win the draw here in the neutral zone. The Icebreakers get a hold of the puck in their own end. And sends it just out of reach. Manages to hang on. The Icebreakers get a hold of it. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And now he moves it to Truba. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves the puck. And let's see what the call is. Well, while he's arguing with the ref on the way to the box, the big clock's now got two minutes on it for the minor penalty. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. There's sometimes you need to make adjustments in game. I don't think they have to. They've already scored on the power play. They'll get another one right here. Denies him. He got all of it. Another stop by the goaltender. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The Nighthawks are going to be penalized for a boarding call here. They'll have a lot of time to work with this five on three. Well, the offensive players are licking their chops here. This is a long five on three. The potential to do damage is sitting right in front of them. The Nighthawks carry it along the wall. The Icebreakers have it from their own end. No one got it but 2 on Oh, what a save. I thought this was in. Really good deep. He throws the goalie, but the reaction... Makes the save. Picked up along the boards by Rippin. Shot! She scores! Even under man, they deliver! Yeah, it's a sloppy play by the power play. But shorthanded, they get aggressive, they get up the ice, and are able to score while down a man. Once he gets in that close, you know it's going to be a deke. He sells the shot, though. The goalie bites on it, and he goes to the forehand. Makes no mistake to put it in the net. 
And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. There's a chance in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Fails to find the open man. And they go back, he scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Icebreakers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Moves it over to White. The Icebreakers have it now. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Take possession, sneaking in off the wing. And stops that big bomb. No, he, he scores. He thought he had it, but it must have gone off him. It's in the net, and that's a goal. Quick release beats the goaltender. I think the goalie felt it. He was in the perfect position. He didn't really move too much, but just inside the post. The Icebreakers are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they've built such a large margin. You can use your whole bench and coast it in. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Let's see what the officials are calling. A little bit like a hooking penalty. You're not going to get called for slashing if your stick's on the ice. The Nighthawks send their men advantage unit out once more. The coaches have been on these guys to get more traffic in front of the goaltender. We'll see if they can do it. They move the puck out of harm's way. Sends one up to Duke. Handles the puck from the left side. Trying to get it down the ice. And they get it down. That's good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Takes the shot. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Imama's had a relatively easy night. He hasn't faced many shots. They've got a nice, comfortable lead. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. The Nighthawks win the faceoff. Hammers it on net. And that misses. Man, he snapped that right up over top of the net. He doesn't miss by much. The Nighthawks will play it for the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Truba. Shot! How did he stop that one? He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Into the corner now. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bain. Gord's a great player when he gets engaged, and he has been that tonight for the offensive side of his game. I've been impressed with his performance. The Icebreakers will play it in their own end. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Picks up the puck. Can't find his man. Quick feed to Duke. Back in with attention. Denies him in close. Smothered that in close chance. And it's a quick pass to Gore. Picked off in the open ice. The icebreakers have done an outstanding job anticipating where the puck is gonna go. They've seemed to be one step ahead all night long. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. More than half the frame has been played here. Fans being treated to an awful lot of lamp lighting tonight. It's 5-2. Puck is shot, and play resumes. Poked away in the neutral zone by Gord. Scooped up along the wall by Dupuis. No, your great extension on his part to poke it away. In all.
little tweak to the crowd here on the road as he gets his third. An outstanding game so far. Man, you better score on these. They don't come along very often. You're out in the clear, and he puts it away. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. The icebreakers gain control of the puck against the wall. Can't get it to go. The icebreakers take possession in the defensive end. And now he passes up to Truba. The icebreakers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Oh, look like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. Breakaway! He scores! Boy, it didn't take much time at all. He was so tight to the net, he makes a nice move to finish it off. That was filthy! The Nighthawks still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Looking to make something happen along the boards. Swing and a miss! Ferraro's gonna hang on for a whistle. a minute to go finally in this one. Big save in front. Save made by the goalie. He scores! This might be a where were you moment for so many of these fans. Man, again, he gets a chance on goal and he makes no mistake about it. The icebreakers haven't missed much tonight, Ray. No, they'd have to play really poorly to screw up this now. They have played outstanding hockey. The Nighthawks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Shot from the wall! What a stop! Nice feed. Moves it quickly over to Duke. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Ribbons carrying it ahead. Moves it to the middle! And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Nice zone entry on the left Whoa. side. Sorry, James. That sounded big. I have to tell you, that was a large hit. Pass broken up. Quick pass to Duke. Takes the pass. And that carries off a stick. It is all over. You know, for a little drop in, Ray, this team looked pretty technically sound out there tonight. I don't really have much expectation watching these games because everybody's so unfamiliar. You know, guys are going to be running all over the place, but they kind of played their positions pretty well. The puck moved out wide really nice, and I was kind of impressed tonight.